We are about to work on the third exercise for today. But before that, don't forget to save the previous job. Now, we will work on Keep It Simple project. When we draw things, try to keep it simple as possible. As a communication student, you need to know how to create a simple, effective, and understandable message. Change from cut to simple. Then we press Ctrl A to select all objects in the layer drawing. Press delete and they will disappear. Next, delete layer number by dragging it to trash bin. In the layer name, unlock it and change cut to symbol. Switch back to black arrow and lock the layer. And go back to the layer drawing. We will draw human shapes to communicate that. There are lots of people join this demonstration. We will start drawing from his head first. Use the ellipse tool and don't forget to hold the shift and then switch to rectangle tool. Since we need a rectangle tool with a round corner, so choose rounded rectangle tool. And then you ha can create a body with it. Head and body need to be on the same line. So we select both parts and go to align. And use the second icon, which is the center. And voila, this is a human. Both, sorry, group both parts by selecting them and right click and choose group. Whenever we group the objects together, we can move them together. Whatever we do to the grouped objects, we will, it will affect all the objects in the same group. Next, we will create more human shapes. For example, each row will consist of six men and there will be four rows of them. You can do this by simply uh, pressing Ctrl C and Ctrl V for copy and paste or we can hold the alternate key. Remember, your cursor will change to a black and white arrows like this. Just drag to create a duplicate. but it seems that it's a little bit too big. We may need to select them all and minimize their size a bit. Don't forget to hold the shift key when you resize it and always drag from a corner so it won't be distorted. Adjust it to fit the area we want. We should align the bottom, which is the sixth icon on, and on the align palette. But however, the distribution is not even. So choose the icon number five of the distribution object. Now we have got a nice row, so we need to group them Select all of them, right click and choose group. And then you can see that they will all go together. Already have one, we already have one nice group. So we need another one, two and three. I can do this by pressing the alternate key while I drag the object out. And you know what? The distance of objects can be signified by the shade. The further one, far away one, should be lighter. The nearer one, the nearer to you one, should be darker. And we don't need the stroke, so we just take the stroke out by click on that icon, the diagonal line.
choose the further one choose the furthest one and double click on the field and choose the gray around that area you can choose other color but in this assignment I would like you to choose just black and white and click OK quite pale and then choose the second row and a darker gray should be nice and even darker for the third row that's it very nice then we can get a sense of depth from different shades of each row adjust them to create a zigzag line with for example number one and number three and number two and number four should be um, in this on the same line so this is nice choose the align button I would like you to uh, type on this area with type 2 just click type 2 and click on this spot and choose the type size for example 36 point and type keep it simple and always remember this simple rule and try to be as simple as possible simplicity is the best policy adjust the text to the center and save the file remember keep it simple